So, the PS5. They're coming out with a Pro. What's my thoughts on it? At first, I thought my thoughts were definitive, like, oh, the PS5 Pro is not necessary. But then, some another creator had a point about the PS3 right here. The PS3 at least, when it was released at the time, due to inflation, probably around the same time money as the PS Pro. But, what they forget to say was, there was no such thing as a PS3 Pro back then. So, once you got the console, you got the console regardlessly. The power was the same throughout the whole console's lifespan. Same with the PS2. I mean, you got smaller versions, but it wasn't such thing as a pro version or nothing like that. That generation really didn't start to the PS4 generation. So now it brings to differ. Do I think it's necessary for a PS5 Pro? No, I don't. I feel like that due to the amount of games of the PS5 actually have, the exclusives and everything, I don't really see the much difference in the graphics, to be honest with you. I know... A lot of computer savvy people could say, oh, this, that, and the third. And I'm a computer savvy guy myself. Like, I built my own computer. I'm building, I'm rebuilding my current computer that I have. And even then, it's like, I don't really see, like, it was a pain in the butt just to get a PS5. Now, people are starting to be able to get PS5. Now, they're coming out with a Pro. I feel like, you know what? I'm going to tell you, don't buy it. It sucks or it's stupid. Don't do it. I'll tell everybody, look, if you don't have a PS5 at all and you want to get one, then... You pay five hundred dollars or four hundred dollars or whatever it is right now. You could be not if you don't have one, but if you already have a PS Five, I would suggest not to get a PS Pro because you already have a PS Five. Especially if you have one of the disc drive, like this is the one with the disc drive. If you just want a digital and you never have a PS Five before, then you might as well because you want to spend the money anyway. It was an extra two hundred dollars, right? But if you already have a PS Five, this PS Five Pro is only for people that already have PS Five. That's just my thinking on it.